chapter 70, the ways of ascent. In the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy, a man mockingly demanded a punishment that is certainly coming to the disbelievers. None can deflect it from God, the Lord of the ways of ascent by which the angels and the spirit ascend to him on a day whose length is 50,000 years. So be patient, prophet, as befits you. The disbelievers think it is distance, distant, but we know it to be close. On a day when the heavens will be like molten copper and the mountains like tufts of wool, when no friend will ask about his friend, even when they are within the sight of one another, the guilty person will wish he could save himself from the suffering of that day by sacrificing his sons. Okay, his spouse, his brother's kinsfolk, who gave him shelter and everybody on earth, if it could save him. But no, there is raging flame that strips away the skin and it will claim everyone who rejects the truth, turns away, amasses wealth and hoards it. Man was truly created anxious. He is fretful when misfortune touches him, but tight fisted when good fortune comes his way. Not so to those who pray and are constant in their prayers, who give a due share of their wealth to beggars and the deprived, who believe in the day of judgment and fear the punishment from their Lord. The punishment of their Lord is not something to feel safe from, who guard chastity from all but their spouses or their slave girls. They are not to blame, but those whose desires exceed this limit are truly transgressors, who are faithful to their trusts and their pledges, who give honest testimony and are steadfast in their prayers. They will be honored in the gardens of bliss. What is wrong with the disbelievers? Why do they rush to peer at you, prophet, from right to left in crowds? Does every one of them expect a garden of bliss? No, we create them from substance they know, and by the Lord of every sunrise and sunset, we have the power to substitute for them others better than they are. Nothing can prevent us from doing this. So leave them to wallow and play and idle talk until they come face to face with their promised day, the day they will rush out of their graves as if rallying to a flag, eyes downcast and covered in shame. That is the day of which they were warned.